Okay, welcome to uh, part zero of this tutorial series. In this video, I'm basically going to explain how this mailing list system is going to work. It's fairly simple. Um, you have these three pages. Uh, send mail is sort of an admin page. Uh, there's just a form for uh, with a subject and a message, and this will be sent to all of the users um, in the database. Uh, just quickly, if you don't know what a mailing list, but well, what I mean by a mailing list uh, is that sort of you'll have a database of users, you, like you could combine this with your user account system or something. Um, and then when you, well, when you fill in this form, it'll send that message with a little sort of hi their name, followed by your message that you type here with the subject. And at the bottom there'll be like an unsubscribe link, so they can remove themselves from your mailing list if they wish to. Um, the way that works at the moment is deleting the row in the table. Uh, although obviously you, you might want to change, like have it change it so that if you combine this with your user system, you might want to change it so that um, it just sets like receive mail to zero or something like that, like a setting basically. But we're gonna, we won't be talking about that in any more detail here. Um, so these other pages, sign up is like a sign up page. Um, so this is where your user will register their email address, so they will receive email updates from you. Um, unsubscribe is just an unsubscribe page. Uh, all it does is show this static content and sub unsubscribe the email from a get variable, but as we haven't specified one, this one I've done anything. Um, so let's just make sure... Um, well, let's demonstrate. If I just go to sign up, um, I've set up a test email, which in this case is test... well, I'll demonstrate with test2, because I think test1 is already subscribed. So let's uh, test2 at... at uh, ph php.co.uk uh, no. Okay, that's the email address. Okay, that sounds right. Terrible. Start again. Ignore all that. So Carl Carlson email address is test2 at php.co.uk Okay, that happened. Good. Test2 at .co.uk If I hit sign up tells you you have been registered um, and then well I'll just show you the database if I hit browse you see now we have Carl Carlson test 2 and my name is test 1 um, incidentally test 1 is this inbox that I've got open in my webmail thingy here so if I can just go back to our file list and go to the sort of fake or not fake uh, the admin type page obviously this would normally be password protected You'd have this as part of like your admin system, so let's just send a quick email. Let's have test testing mailing list. Got testing wrong. There we go. Okay, the message is going to be um, this is a test of the mailing list system, just with some new lines. Well, a new line, two new lines even. There, just to show, see if that works. Basically, so I hit send. Nothing happens. Um, like you say, you can work out the confirmation type message stuff if you want in the future yourself. So I open up webmail, reload this, so we get testing testing mailing list from an email address that I specified in the code. If I open this email up, loading, loading, you see you get hi, my name. This is the test of this is basically this highlighted bit is what I typed. And then you get this unsubscribe link. So people might want to just you know, stop receiving your emails basically. So you can just like copy this into your browser. Hit enter. It tells you you've been unsubscribed. If I go to our database and hit browse, you see my row has disappeared from the database. So this is like something you can use on your website, like notify people of updates. You know, you probably get them all the time. Email newsletter type stupid spam, basically. <laughs> Not that I encourage sending spam, but you know, you could think of a better use for it than just telling people about nothing. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the demonstration of this system. Join me in part one, where we will sort of set up the database and the file structure and start coding. Okay, so thanks for watching and join me in part one.